For our math time, we're going to continue to practice 3D shapes. There are six 3D shapes that we are practicing. All the 3D shapes that we learn are solid. The six 3D shapes are cube, sphere, cylinder, cone, pyramid, rectangular prism. Now, we've explored a cube, something that looks like a cube in our everyday lives are Legos, dice, wooden blocks. A cube is special because it has six square faces. So that means no matter which way you turn a cube, you will see a square face. A sphere is another 3D shape. In our everyday world, balls look like a sphere, a sun, and a balloon. A sphere has no faces or no edges. It is round. Yesterday, we practiced the shape of a cylinder. All of our 3D shapes come in many sizes, but a cylinder can sometimes be in the size of short and fat or tall and skinny. Some things that look like a cylinder, a soup can, marker, and a cup that you would use to pour your chocolate milk inside. Cylinders are special because it has a circle face at the top and a circle face at the bottom. We also explored a cone. An ice cream cone is in the shape of a cone. A traffic cone is in the shape of a cone. And a party hat is in the shape of a cone. A cone is special because it has a circle face. And you also see a point at the top. Now we will explore two new shapes today. We will explore the shape of a pyramid. A pyramid looks like this. A pyramid is not a very common 3D shape. And the only thing that I can add to our poster that looks like a pyramid is a famous landform in Egypt. A pyramid was built a long time ago and they are very special to the country of Egypt. A pyramid is in the shape of a pyramid. It took the Hebrews a long time to build a pyramid. They're very tall, taller than buildings that we see downtown. A pyramid is in the shape of a pyramid. Now what makes a pyramid special? It has one square bottom. So it has a square, one square, Face. And then it has four triangle faces. So anytime you see a pyramid, which isn't very common, it has a square face at the bottom and then four triangle faces all around. So four triangle faces. This is a pyramid. The last shape we will explore is a rectangular prism. This is a rectangular prism. Sometimes we might see it going from side to side or sometimes we might see it standing up. A rectangular prism is a very common shape. Now, many things look like a rectangular prism. The first thing that comes to mind is a book. A book is in the shape of a rectangular prism. So you might find a book around your house. It is in the shape of a rectangular prism. Buildings are in the shape of a rectangular prism. Very, very tall buildings that you might see downtown. Those are my windows. A building is in the shape 
of a rectangular prism. And the last thing I can think of is a box of tissues or a box of cereal. A box of tissues is in the shape of a rectangular prism. So we have a building, a book, and a, tish and a box of tissues on our poster that are in the shape of a rectangular prism. Now, what makes a rectangular prism special? It has two square faces, two square faces, and four rectangle faces. We've spent some time talking about 3D shapes. Remember, a 3D shape is a solid shape. Now, for practice, you have an activity. Your job is to look at many shapes. I made a mistake and I copied these two times. So what you can do is cut out one section and throw it away and only sort the shapes and only sort 12 shapes. Now, I mix these up and some of these shapes are solid and some of these shapes are flat. Your job is to sort them. Remember, flat shapes are what we call 2D shapes. Squares, circles, triangles, those are what we call flat shapes. Now at the bottom is where I want you to put the solid shapes. Solid shapes are our 3D shapes. So you will cut these out and paste them into the right, into the right space. If it's a flat shape, it goes at the top. If it's a solid shape, it goes at the bottom. When you finish, you can color.